What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the chronically charismatic Dr. Disaster, and once again, one of these people who works in AAA games has opened her mouth and put her foot in it. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I shouldn't have said that. The person in question works for Compulsion Games, which you may remember we just found out they are one of the prominent clients of Sweet Baby Inc. and they have a game coming out this summer called South of Midnight. And it sure would be a shame if one of their employees, their community manager no less, damaged sales of the game with her crappy attitude. It's shocking how brazen the community manager for a AAA studio would be coming right out and saying that she hates gamers. It just doesn't make sense until you remember that these people apparently are no longer running a for-profit company. These are for-propaganda companies, and this is their message. I hate you guys. You guys are assholes. Especially Kenny. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But let's just take a look at what this person said. This is Katie Robinson, the community manager for Compulsion Games. I got this image from the excellent website That Park Place, and I am leaving a link in the description if you want to read their coverage of the topic. But on the right of this image is her Instagram post under the handle Pika Chulita, telling everyone way back in September that she was excited to be the new community manager for Compulsion Games. Now, if you didn't know, a community manager is kind of a PR person within a company. It's their job to foster a brand's community and improve public perception. They're supposed to do outreach. They're supposed to engage with the audience. Keep that in mind now as we take a look at what this nincompoop says. And also, keep that in mind as I tell you that this person has now blocked her account so that only approved people can see her posts. Think about that for a second. If her job is to engage with the audience and she has blocked her account so that only her buddies can see what she has to say, then ask yourself this. In their mind, who is the target audience? Well, this post here ought to help you figure that out. This image was unearthed, and it is what has caused her to private her account. She says, honestly, I hate gamers. It's not you I hate, Cardassian. I hate what I became because of you. That feeling of hers there, that's rather inconvenient, considering that you would think the whole point of her job would be to engage with gamers. But as I said before, the fact that a community manager would put her account on private tells you everything about what their target audience really is. Funny enough though, this highlights just how worthless and pointless her job is. If she can't engage with people who think differently than her, if she can only engage with people that are like-minded, then what the hell is even her point? If everyone else who isn't already her friend hates her, then what in the bloody hell is her point? How can she do community outreach? Do people not like me? Uh... But whatever. This wasn't even the extent of the crap we saw coming from this moron. She also said this. She conflated Asian and white people, saying they are white adjacent. As if being white is a negative thing, which I probably don't need to tell you that this isn't a particularly good look for a community manager. And yet, here we are. But why? Why is she so brazen? Why does she feel so comfortable speaking like this? Well, it probably has a lot to do with this phenomenon right here. 
This tweet is from the gaming site Niche Gamer, and it explains why they are not going to cover things like Elon Musk recently sticking up for gamers, saying that the gaming industry should not be racist and sexist against white guys. This is what they said. While we do agree with the base sentiment of gaming companies overplaying their hands, per se, unfortunately, we can't cover this particular story or more stories like it without potentially getting punished by the PR firms hired by those same game companies who we have to rely on to get access to video games for review and coverage purposes ranging from smaller devs to mid-size operations to even AAA game companies slash publishers alike. Because a lot of those same PR people support the people who hold these similar views like what Elon is referring to here. We are already having significant issues and experiencing roadblocks regarding getting access to AAA titles because we have covered the Sweet Baby Inc. stories alone. It's quite unfortunate. Yes, it is quite unfortunate, because this Katie Robinson person is exactly the sort who would be deciding whether or not sites like Niche Gamer gets to review their games. This is an endemic issue within the gaming industry, and our only option, our only way to fight back is to boycott the hell out of games like this, out of games like South of Midnight. But I will leave it there with this message. Do not buy this South of Midnight game and go around telling everyone that you know to avoid it as well. In the meantime, let me know what you think of this community manager for Compulsion Games and what she said in the comments below, and we will talk about it there. Thanks for watching me hearties, if you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.